arrived on Capitol Hill today for the first day of Senate Judiciary Committee confirmation hearings on her nomination to the Supreme Court. Now, while the White House is pushing to have her confirmed before Election Day, Democrats argue her nomination would lead to an imbalance in the high court positions. Natalie Bram takes a look at the fast track confirmation hearings for the vacant Supreme Court seat. Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett wore a mask as she appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee for day one of her confirmation hearings. This is going to be a long, contentious week. In her prepared remarks, Judge Barrett credited the late conservative Justice Antonin Scalia with shaping her judicial philosophy, saying, A judge must apply the law as written, not as the judge wishes it were. Sure. Republicans cite her qualifications as they try to push through her confirmation with less than a month to go before the election. Throughout your impressive career, you, you've earned the respect of those who share your views on the law as well as those who do not. But Democrats say with millions of votes already cast, the vacancy should not be filled until the election is decided, with the future of the Affordable Care Act and abortion rights at stake. I believe we should not be moving forward on this nomination, not until the election has ended and the next president has taken office. Several coronavirus precautions are in place here at the Capitol, including using a larger hearing room to comply with social distancing. Two committee members were also recently diagnosed with COVID-19. Republican Senators Mike Lee and Tom Tillis's cases are both linked to Judge Barrett's nomination ceremony at the White House. Senator Lee is attending the hearing in person with clearance from his doctor. You're not a policymaker. You're a judge. If confirmed, the federal appeals court judge and Notre Dame Law School professor would be the first mother of school-aged children to sit on the high court. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now the hearings are expected to last four days. Today is opening statements, while tomorrow begins questioning. Well, new at noon, President Trump is hitting.